Davis did not appear happy with that sentence. Also, the civil attorney for one of his victims was not happy with the sentence and the judge was not happy throughout this entire proceeding. But here is the big headline. Baltimore boxing champ Gervonta Davis will not serve any jail time for the hit and run crash that he caused with his Lamborghini back in November of 2020. In February of this year, Davis pleaded guilty to charges, traffic offenses connected to that crash in which he ran a red light, hit another car, four people inside, including a pregnant woman, were injured. And then he got into a Camaro that pulled up and left the scene. Today, the judge sentenced him to a total of two years plus 60 days in prison, but she suspended all of it except for 90 days. She told Davis he will serve those 90 days through home detention. She said the home detention will happen in Baltimore City. No, he can't just go to the gym. She was not happy with his response when she said that he made some faces. She called him out for that. And then she said he also will serve three years of supervised probation in Baltimore City, she said, because I'm also making you attend a MAD panel, a shock trauma program and 200 hours of community service, quote, and that will not be in boxing. After the hearing, as people made their way out, we tried to get their reaction, but Mr. Davis and his lawyer had nothing to say. Mr. Davis, what's your reaction to the sentence? What's your reaction to the sentence? Can we get your reaction to the sentence? About the sentence? We don't have any comment. No comment. Can you give us your reaction to the sentence the judge just handed down? Well, we're not exactly uh, satisfied with a sentence of 90 days home detention. Uh, we believe that based on the severity of this incident, it doesn't seem to be much of a penalty to me. The judge seemed to take issue with the fact that he may have had special treatment. She asked the uh, state's attorney, why didn't you mention he's never had a valid license? She asked the defendant, the defendant and the defense attorney, why was he allowed to attend his pre-sentencing investigation with an entourage and not answer any questions? Do you feel like he was treated differently than other defendants? Well, he definitely was. And the judge noted herself in her comments that he believes he's above the law. That is the civil attorney for the only victim who has yet to settle up with Mr. Davis. She spoke at today's hearing. She told Gervonta Davis he ruined her life. She said she can't walk or stand for long periods of time, said she can't play with her kids. She said she can't go back to work. She can't. Uh, she had to stop going to school because she can't walk across campus. And she also called him out for never apologizing. She was crying when she did that. And then the judge called him out for that too, saying, quote, I am sorry. Just three words. I am sorry, she told Mr. Davis, quote, and you aren't man enough to say them, end quote. Next in this case is a restitution hearing in criminal court, circuit court here. Plus, this matter is also heading to civil court as well. Reporting live downtown, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.